Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. So, right now, I am in the Armstrong Park. I entered a few clips before this. It is a tiny park, but it's really nice and pretty. They have a pond here with like a bridge, and like statues of jazz players, and then Louis Armstrong. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're trying to figure out where we're gonna go next. I think we actually already found it. So my friends are here. So I'll check back with you guys later. Go to it. Excuse me. the New Orleans Pharmacy Museum. This museum is considered a historic landmark and holds many artifacts that shows the resources that were available in pharmacy and medicine during the 19th century into the early and mid 20th century. This pharmacy was where Lois J. DeFeo would do his practice and is also where he resided. Although all the artifacts that were there were not the same ones that were used back then. It was still cool to see how it looked in real life and it was also really cool to see just how the atmosphere was and how things were used to learn about that as well. So now we are at the French market, which was probably my favorite place we visited on this trip so far because of how fun it was. 
There were a lot of food and souvenir vendors that it was impossible to not stop and look at or buy anything. So according to the website, it's open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But we came the very first day, which was a Thursday, that we were here in New Orleans. And there was very little to like no vendors here compared to now, which is a weekend. So I would honestly suggest coming on Saturday or Sunday. And they're like just playing music and like selling food and things like that. I'm just waiting for my parents because they're talking. And then we're gonna go, like just I like, guess look around just to see everything. And then we'll probably go to eat after. Then we're gonna go back to the hotel because at eight we have a ghost tour. I think it's gonna be around the same area like Bourbon Street and like Canal and all that. I've just been having so much fun. We've been waking up super early though, like seven, six, seven. And then we don't even leave until like, I don't know, like 11. So we're literally waking up and just like sitting there sometimes. I'm just waiting to go in right now and then we'll So we couldn't go into the festival because we had to like not bring in drinks. And we're like walking everywhere. So we just decided no. We just decided no because like we're not going to give up our drinks and then go buy like two to three dollars drinks like over there but when we looked inside it didn't even look like they were selling a lot of drinks like it looked like everything was done either way so we're just walking i think we're gonna buy music somewhere else i'm not too sure though i'll check back with you guys again but yeah that was kind of, that kind of sucked not gonna lie not being able to go inside Hopefully it doesn't turn into that. We have to wait here for the next 
20 minutes because it starts at 8 and it's like 7.40 right now. We're going to go all along this like area, like Bourbon Street Canal, all those places. But I'll catch you guys later when we're actually on our tour. Between the years of 1817 and 1905, 41,000 people would die by this killer. So the pharmacy that we visited earlier actually has a really creepy backstory. During the tour, we learned that he actually sold the business to this doctor named Dr. James Dupas, who was said to have used extremely addicting medicine in his prescriptions, and he would give it to all his patients, even pregnant mothers. And to make it 10 times worse, that beautiful courtyard that we saw earlier, yeah, that was where he buried his patients that didn't make it out alive. Town urges them, bring out your church bells, the city is on fire. The church said, no. We do not ring our bells on Good Friday. This next building is called the Ursuline Covent, and it is one of the oldest and longest standing buildings in New Orleans. And it is said to house the casket girls on the third level. And because of the rumors that spread about this building and the girls that stayed here, it is said that this is where the term vampires first originated. This is going to come as a total surprise to you guys. Hollywood got voodoo wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what? So the next place that we saw was the Andrew Jackson Hotel, which was originally a boarding school and orphanage for boys who lost their parents to the outbreak of yellow fever. In 1794, the boarding school caught on fire and left five boys to pass away with it. Those five boys now haunt that hotel and there are creepy things that have happened in that hotel that they were saying, like luggage flying everywhere and people hearing noises and things like that. The last place we saw was the Lollery Mansion. This house and its history are very well known and has even appeared on the show American Horror Stories. In the 1830s, Madame Lollery starved and tortured her slaves within this house, and later the house was caught on fire, which was allegedly started by a slave that wanted to expose everything that was happening in the house at the time. Madame Delphine and her family left the scene before anyone could get to them. The final place we visited in Louisiana was the Oak Alley Plantations. So for this one, there are two different tours that you can take. There's the outdoor one that is self-guided, and then there's the house tour that is guided. We did both, but we were not allowed to take pictures or videos inside the house. In the outdoor self-guided tour, you are able to see where the slaves lived and where they were being housed. You can also see the west and east gardens that are around the mansion. And you can also see there's a little theater there that shows you how sugar cane is made, which is what was produced at that plantation. Overall, I really love the scenery here and I found it beautiful and peaceful just being outside and it honestly made me forget about how hot the weather was just because there was such a nice breeze when we passed by the trees and the garden. 